Unless you have an Eastern European grandmother, you probably never even thought about making spätzle at home. But in fact, it's just as easy as making pancakes. Really. And it's spätzle? Spä I don't know, how do I say it? Yeah. Spätzle. Spätzle. Okay, onward. Since I was thinking about Eastern Europe, I decided to pair the spätzle with cabbage, right? What could be more Eastern European than that? I've chosen a Savoy cabbage. I find that it has just a fresher flavor. Now I'm just gonna quarter this. If you see any little brown things, just remove them. I'm also gonna give this a rinse, by the way. And then I'm just gonna thinly slice these. Now I've got my cabbage. I've also sliced up some leeks and I'm gonna saute them with a little bit of garlic and some caraway seed. First, let's melt the butter. You have to use a lot of butter with cabbage because cabbage is just one of those vegetables that is so lean, it just wants butter. You cook out all the liquid and then it absorbs all the butter and it just becomes delicious. When that's nice and hot, I'm gonna add the leeks. Now you wanna do this over medium high heat, not too high because you don't want a lot of brown color and just let them saute for about five to 10 minutes. Salt, more salt. And while those are going, I am going to crush the caraway seeds and just pound it up. So I'm gonna add my caraway, and then I've got some garlic, thyme, a little red pepper, and just saute that for a minute just until the garlic is fragrant. And now I'm just gonna throw in my cabbage. And use the biggest skillet that you have because this way you give your cabbage lots of room and it'll cook down more quickly. And if it gets a little brown and crunchy around the edges, even better. This is gonna take just a little while to cook down. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. This just brightens all the flavors. And now this can just sit off the heat until we're ready for it. Now I'm gonna make the spätzle. Mix up the flours and the salt before I add my liquids. So I've just got regular flour and then a little bit of rye flour. Just adds a nutty, earthy flavor. Very cozy in the winter. Eggs. Most of the milk I'm gonna leave a little bit because what happens is as the batter sits, it tends to thicken up, so you need a little bit of this milk to just add to loosen it. It's gotta be loose enough so that you can push the batter through the spätzle maker or the colander. Do not freak out if you use more milk than the recipe calls for. This stuff is very forgiving. And then this is what you want, just kind of a thick cake batter. And now I'm gonna cook these in boiling water with my spätzle maker. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, fine, that's great. She has a spätzle maker. I don't have a spätzle maker. I'm never making spätzle. But in fact, you can use your colander. It's just as easy. You just need a friend to help you. Daniel, spätzle! Hold that. Now I'm just gonna pour exactly as I did with the spätzle maker, except I'm gonna push it through. I have tried to do this myself with just me and the colander, and it's just harder to push it through. Maybe it's actually not that hard. Actually, you know what, I actually don't need you. Okay, see. <laughs> These little dumplings are just going right in the water. See? And then they cook pretty quickly. It just takes a minute or two. I think they're done. As these rise to the surface, you just wanna take them out with a slotted spoon and put them right in with your cabbage. Give it a mix. You do not have to butter the gratin dish. There's plenty of butter in this already. Just flop it right in. And then cheese. You can use Emmentaler, you can use Gruyere. You could even use cheddar. Now I'm gonna bake it until it is bubbling and golden brown. And that looks gorgeous. Yum. Mm. Spätzli. Spätzli.